Welcome to this puzzle session. Here is the problem. There are seven people such that the sum of their ages is 332 years. We want to show that one can find three members out of these seven people such that the sum of their ages is at least 142 years. It's a very, very straightforward problem. So let's see how to prove it. And yes, as usual, you are encouraged to pause the video and find your own solution before you look at what I'm going to discuss. So let's move on. So we will discuss some notation. For the seven people that we have, we will label them as one, two, seven. So each person has been given a name. The names are actually numbers, just for convenience. Uh, the age of the ith person would be denoted by AI. So A1 is the age of 1 and up to A7 is the age of 7. This is one notation. So this is read as X choose 3. It's a standard notation. X choose which is nothing but the set of all those subsets of X which have size 3. Nothing very fancy going on. And lastly, for any element S in X choose 3, we write this A with a subscript, the subset, to denote the sum of all the ages of the members in the subset S. Okay, so these are some notations we will use. And here is a very simple fact which we will refer to as the averaging principle. It says that suppose we have n numbers t1 up to tn such that their averages exceed alpha. Just give me one second. Yeah, so there are n numbers uh, such that their averages, such that their average exceeds alpha or is at least alpha, where alpha is some real number, then one of these, at least one of these n numbers will be at least alpha. Right? So there is i such that ti is greater than or equal to alpha is what we want to say. And this is pretty clear because assume otherwise suppose not then ti is less than alpha for all i therefore if we take the average Or let's just take the sum. This will be strictly less than n alpha. And now the average is strictly less than alpha. And that's a contradiction to the hypothesis that the average is at least alpha. So it's very simple. And now let us uh, go to the solution of the problem. So we will consider this average rather let's write down the sum first so we consider the sum uh, and I want to say that this sum is actually this sum so remember this is the binomial coefficient 6 choose 2 meaning as a number this is equal to that all right um, so why is this true? Well, this can be proved purely formally using double counting, but let me informally try to explain what is going on. So suppose we ask how many times do we see A1 appear on the left hand side? So it's same as asking how many subsets of size 3 of X are there which feature A1 or rather which feature 1. Uh, so how many subsets are there? Uh, so out of these seven elements, 
one kind of has already been chosen so out of the remaining six we can choose any two and hence we see a six choose two so that's the reason for the equality here and now all we do is we kind of average this out so to do that maybe let me shift it a little bit so to average it out we divide both sides by seven choose three And it's given to us that this is at least uh, 6 choose 2 divided by 7 choose 3 into 332. So the sum of all the ages is at least 732 was already given. And now we compute this. So this is just, I'm just doing a mindless computation. All right. So if we cancel out, we get this goes away, that goes away, this goes away. So this is 3 by 7 into 332. And uh, this is, you can convince it, it is at least 142. So this average is at least 142. And therefore, by the averaging principle that we discussed, there must be some s for which a s is at least 142 and that solves exactly what we wanted to do. That, that means that one can find three people out of the seven people such that the sum of their ages is at least 142. So that's all. Alright, so with that let me end this. Uh, as usual, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time.